Tissue culture is a relatively new laboratory science which encompasses a variety of procedures and techniques. Simply stated, tissue culture is the method by which plant and animal cells and tissues are grown on a sterile media. Until recently, most tissue culture studies were directed at medical and drug research. But now, scientists are broadening their perspectives to utilize tissue culture in nearly all phases of agriculture with tremendous possibilities. For example, animal scientists use tissue culture to accomplish embryo transfer and bovine embryo division. Forestry professionals are using tissue culture to significantly increase productivity of Douglas fir and loblolly pine plantations and to quickly propagate superior specimens of slow-growing trees. In the food industry, tissue culture provides a means by which protein-rich sweeteners are being developed for baked goods, jams, ice cream, and candies to raise the nutritional value of these foods. Aided by tissue culture, plant pathologists have created experimental bacteria that inhibit frost formation on plant leaves. Soon, strawberries and other tender crops will be able to sustain temporary periods of low temperatures without damage. Crop scientists have made spectacular advancements through tissue culture. Researchers are working on tomatoes that withstand herbicide sprays and thrive in salty soils. Corn hybrids capable of producing their own nitrogen fertilizer. And super grains that tolerate extended drought. Currently, tissue culture is more widely used in commercial horticulture than in any other area of agriculture. It was the orchid industry, more than 25 years ago, that first used tissue culture on a large scale. Orchids are notoriously slow to reproduce and their seeds produce variable plants. To compound the problem, orchids are extremely susceptible to virus infections that are easily passed through conventional propagation methods. However, by surface sterilizing the virus-free shoot tips of orchids and propagating them by tissue culture, Growers are assured that the resulting plants are free of pathogens and identical to the original plant. Nursery professionals are finding that tissue culture produces these genetically identical plants quickly, economically, and with less labor, space, and maintenance than is needed by traditional methods. For example, one grower uses tissue culture to produce 1,000 daylilies each week on just 30 square feet of shelf space. Another grower, using conventional propagation methods, would need a half acre to produce the same number of daylilies. Tissue culture techniques also enable growers to produce vast numbers of plants when mother stock is in short supply. As another example, Dutch iris normally produce about five daughter bulbs per year under optimum conditions. But with tissue culture, you could produce several hundred Dutch iris from a single bulb within three months. The potential for rapid mass production makes tissue culture particularly appealing in commercial horticulture. An Oregon nursery produces five million certified tree root stocks each year, while a foliage plant nursery produces 100,000 Boston ferns each month. One of the largest tissue culture labs in California plans to produce more than 25 million plants annually. Because tissue cultured plants have a guaranteed health status, it's possible to transport plants into countries formerly inaccessible due to strict quarantine regulations. This means we can look forward to rapid worldwide introduction of new and improved plants in the not too distant future.